Good morning, Facebook. Welcome to uh, another yoga with Sally. This morning it's a yoga basics class and we're focusing on balance. Oh, I'm just seeing that Caroline can't find my stream. Okay, two seconds. Um, I'll be right back. Um, just wait to see if she can find me. Caroline, have you found me yet? Let me just message you back. Okay, perfect. Hi. Hi, so okay, I'm here this morning with with my wonderful mother, Jenny. Um, Hi, we have Cat Caffrey's here as always, uh, ready for her yoga. She absolutely loves her yoga. Can't get enough of it. Um, and Primrose and Gypsy are also here. Hopefully they're going to behave themselves. Primrose is looking at me like she's probably not going to. Okay, um, yeah, so this morning it's a yoga basics class, so it's a beginner's uh, yoga class. And we're focusing on balance. Um, we had a balance class a few classes ago. So we're going to develop the things that we, we practiced in that session. A um, couple of things I just want to talk about before we get started with the class is first of all I don't know if you can hear in the background I have found uh, on YouTube a, a track a video of birds singing of beautiful nature sounds and I've put it on in the background hopefully you can hear that um, I find that really relaxing um, I think it's a good way at the moment, maybe if you're <coughs> feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit claustrophobic, particularly maybe if you are um, in a small house with only a small garden or even in an apartment with no garden. You can find things like this on YouTube and you can lay down, relax and listen to those uh, relaxing sounds and maybe that can help you at this time. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to talk about, and I talked about it at the beginning of my flow class yesterday, <clears throat> is um, how people are feeling right now. So we've been in lockdown, or whatever you want to call it, for uh, over a, a couple of weeks now. If you're in Spain, Italy, much longer. Um, and the novelty, I don't know if that's the right word, of the situation has you know really worn off and um, I just wanted to say to everybody that it's really quite normal at the moment if you're experiencing uh, some low points feeling negative emotion um, I think we're all going through that at the moment I think we're all going through a little bit up a little bit down it's a very uh, unsure time uh, we don't know what's going to happen so it's um, people are worried about money it's, it's very very normal to feel down and it's important not to push those feelings away by practicing yoga we can help to bring ourselves into the present moment to connect ourselves with how we're feeling and to process those feelings um, which is important because if you just push them away then they don't go anywhere they're just still just staying underneath the surface um, so it's important that you deal with those those feelings so in a moment on our mat and we're going to uh, notice our breath focus on our breathing and just uh, connect with how we're feeling this morning so it's important that when we do that that you don't uh, push any negative feeling away that you feel a <coughs> negative feeling that you're 
experiencing. Okay, so I'm not going to natter on anymore. Um, let's get started. So I'm going to come over to my mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, then you can improvise, use a rug or a carpeted area or a, even a towel or something like that. Um, okay, so we're going to come and sit comfortably. So if you are comfortable sitting cross-legged on the floor, then you can sit cross-legged on the floor. If you're not, no problems. Sit on a cushion. If you want to sit with your legs in front of you, you can sit with your legs straight out in front of you. However you feel comfortable. And we're just going to take some time now to sit comfortably, we're going to sit with our back straight, close our eyes, and focus on our breath. Don't try to change your breath at this time, just breathe naturally. Breathe normally and just notice your breath. sounds of birds singing, of nature. and without judgment. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. emotions this morning, if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling frustration, if you're feeling sadness, if you're feeling lonely, allow yourself to feel those emotions, don't push them away.
six times. This is just going to help to calm and focus our mind, to connect our mind and our breath to the external world by the medium of sound. Practice controlling our breath. Practice pranayama, breathing practice. So we're going to breathe slowly and deeply in and out through our nose. Trying to as in, to inhale as fully as we can to exhale as completely as we can. As you inhale, allow your tummy to really push out as far as it can. As your diaphragm pushes down and pushes your abdominal organs down, let your chest expand, your intercostal muscles, the muscles between your ribs stretch. Really create space in your chest for your lungs to fully expand. And then as you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles, draw your tummy right in, drawing your belly button towards your spine, letting your chest contract, try to exhale as completely as you can. Keep your body and your mind relaxed, don't tense as you breathe deeply, relax.
focus all of your attention on breathing slowly and deeply. Every time thoughts enter your mind, as they will do, just notice them and let them go. Return your attention to your breath. over the back of your throat, filling your lungs. As you exhale, imagine that you're exhaling any anxiety, any stress. Retain your breath, count to ten in your mind slowly, and then exhale in a slow and controlled way. And then repeat, inhale, hold for ten seconds. something which sounds easy, which sounds simple, but is actually quite difficult. I want you to, with your eyes closed, just breathe normally and count 10 breaths without your attention wandering, without thoughts entering your mind. Try to stay focused on counting your breath. So one is an in-breath and an out-breath.
something that you can try if you are feeling anxious or stressed to just count your breath, to try to count to 10 breaths without your attention wandering. It helps to bring you into the present moment, it helps to bring your mind away from wherever it is that is stressing or worrying. Okay, now we can slowly open our eyes. Okay, we're just going to put Primrose out of the room because she has a tendency to bark at everything. Come on, friend. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. So she's going to go outside and uh, she'll be happy out of there. Oh no, Lucy, this, this, this is where we have problems. Gypsy, so. calm down. Okay, right, let's uh, get started with the basic all over stretch. So. Remember, we always want to try to move with our breath. When we move with our breath, we connect our mind and our body and bring ourselves into the present moment. So we're going to stand with our feet about hip distance apart. Our back straight and we're going to stretch our neck. So we're going to exhale and look down to the floor. Inhale and look up to the ceiling. Exhale, look down to the floor. Inhale, look up. So just keep on going at your pace with your breath. Slow movement, slow breath. bringing your head back to the center. We're going to turn our head from side to side. Again, moving with our breath, staying focused on our breath. So it's a moving meditation. We're going to inhale, exhale, and turn our head to the right. Look over our right shoulder. Pause for a moment. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to the left, pause for a moment, center and again keep on moving at your pace with your breath. tilting our head from side to side. So we're going to inhale, exhale, tilt our head to the right, trying to bring our ear down towards our right shoulder, keeping our shoulder down. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the left. Keep on going at your pace with your breath. any areas of stiffness as you do these movements as you make back to the center again. Now we're going to all the way around 
a couple of times in each direction. So we're going to start off by looking down to the floor. Roll our head so we're bringing our right ear around towards our right shoulder. Back to look up at the ceiling. Left ear to left shoulder. And back to the floor. Now back in the other direction. Slowly. And once more in each direction. Close your eyes as you do this. You feel the movement of your body. Okay, now we're going to wake up our shoulders. We're going to rotate our arms. Slowly, so we're going to bring our arms forwards, reaching forwards, reaching up as we inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to bring our arms backwards and down. Again, slow, controlled movement with your breath. Really reaching out as much as you can. So now we're coming forwards. shoulders we're going to draw circles with our elbows trying to make those circles as big trying to join your elbows in the center Fist as tight as you can, opening your fingers as wide as you can. 
close, open, close, open, close. Then you can make the up fist as tight as you can. Then you open your fingers really, really wide. Okay, now making a fist and rotating both your fists in the same direction. Really difficult to do, you have to concentrate. And back the other way. And now mirroring each other. And back again, the other way. Good, okay, give your hands a shake, your wrists a shake. And we're going to practice swaying palm tree to stretch our side body and shoulders. Strengthen our lower body. <coughs> so remember that we interlock our fingers like this. And we're going to push our palms up towards the ceiling, trying to bring our arms straight. Trying to bring our arms so that they touch our ears. Now we're going to again move with our breath. We're going to inhale and we're going to exhale and lean to the right side. Trying to keep your arms straight, trying to keep them touching your ears. Try not to do this. Engage your leg muscles. Hold your lower body steady. Inhale. Reach right up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, reach right up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, reach right up. And to the left. Inhale, reach right up. We're going to go once more to each side. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Reach right up. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach right up as high as you can. And exhale, your arms down. Oh, give them a shake. Well done. Spin your arms around a little bit, loose and off. Okay, good. Now hip rotations. We're going to come to stand with our feet about the width of the mat, with our toes pointing slightly out. Place our hands on our hips and make big circles with your hips. Keeping your legs straight. And back the other way. Bringing your feet back together, we're going to lean forwards, place our hands on our knees and rotate our knees. So bending our knees, bringing them over in line with our toes, straightening our legs. Okay, good. Now we're going to come 
into the top of our mat. I am just going to remove the cat from my mat because we're going to come back into downward facing dog in a moment. Bye bye, Tafri. The likelihood of her not coming back to my mat again is quite low, but uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, so we're going to come and stand at the top of our mat. If we don't have a mat, then just stand so that you've got enough space behind you for the length of your body. We're going to come into a forward fold and then we're going to walk our feet back into downwards facing dog. Okay, so. Kathy's been in every video more or less so far, so uh, I don't like to pick her out. Okay, so we're going to first of all stand with our feet about hip distance apart. We're going to inhale and reach our arms forwards. Reaching up. Slight back bend. And then we're going to exhale. Fold forwards, keeping a flat back, reaching forwards, looking forwards. Bending your knees if you need to, to maintain a flat back and bring your fingertips to the mat or the floor, either side of your feet. So your knees might be bent like that, that's absolutely fine. As long as you still feel that stretch down the backs of your legs, in your glutes and in your lower back. Just let your head hang, your neck relax. Breathe slowly and deeply. Keep your belly tucked in. This will allow you to fold further forward. And now we're going to walk our feet back to downwards facing dog, which is that inverted V position. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see them more clearly. Okay, so our bottom is sticking up in the air. Our arms are straight. We're trying to bring our heels down towards the mat. If this is really uncomfortable for you, you can bend your knees slightly. What we want to do is we want to keep our arms straight, we want to keep our back flat, we want to bring our head between our arms to look up at our belly button. Okay, now we're going to lower our knees down to the mat. And we're going to do cat cow stretch. So we're going to come into tabletop position. Maybe Capri can demonstrate the cat stretch for us. So tabletop position, our hands should be directly underneath our shoulders, so about shoulder width apart, our knees should be directly underneath our hips apart. If you do have problems with your wrists, this feels like too much pressure on your wrists, you can move your hands a little bit further forward, that will take direct pressure off of the wrist. Tapping's showing off. Okay, so we're going to, first of all, inhale and then exhale into the cat stretch, arching our back up towards the ceiling, tucking our head to look underneath at our belly button. And then we're going to inhale, look up, bring our hips up and dip our belly down towards the floor. This is the cow stretch. Exhale to cat. because she's being annoying today. <laughs> Bye, Chad. 
I do feel bad, but... Okay, so just keep on going, slow breath, slow movement. straight out in front of us. And we're going to start now with half butterfly. So leaving our left leg straight, we're going to bend our right leg and bring our right foot either onto the top of our left thigh if you can. If not, you can bring the sole of your right foot onto the inside of your left thigh. Either way, you're going to support your right foot with your left hand and take your right hand, place it on your knee, inhale, lift your knee up, exhale, push your knee gently down towards the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Again, keep on going at your pace with your breath. Slowly and controlled and gently. towards the floor. If you can, interlock your fingers underneath your feet, around your feet, and pull yourself to sit up straight. Or hold on around your ankles, and again, pull yourself to sit up straight. So we're going to start off us by stretching and strengthening our ankles. Now what tends to happen is that we wear shoes all of the time and those shoes support our feet and mean that our muscles don't really have to work so hard to support our body. So those muscles become weaker and that really affects our balance. Okay, to have good balance, you need to have strong core muscles and leg muscles, but also strong foot muscles and ankle muscles. So we're just going to begin by sitting with our legs out in front of us, placing our hands on the mat behind us. So we're leaning back on our hands and we're just going to try to bring our toes back towards our knees. 
and then we're going to try to point our toes as much as we can, trying to bring our toes down towards the mat. And again, try to move with your breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. I'll just point out at the moment, you shouldn't have socks on. Much easier to balance, to use your feet correctly, to spread your toes, which we'll talk about in a minute, if you don't have socks on. So really try to make this movement as exaggerated as you can. Notice as you're doing this how much of your leg is engaged to move your ankles in this way. Notice that you're engaging the muscles all the way up to your thighs as you do this. Okay, now bring your feet slightly further apart. We're going to rotate our ankles. Drawing circles with our big toes. Trying to make those circles as big as possible. And then we're going to go back the other way. Now sitting up, just as we did um, in half butterfly just now, we're going to bend our right knee, but this time we're going to bring our foot so that it's over our over the other side of our left thigh. Support your ankle with your right hand, and we're going to take our left hand and we're going to hold on around our toes, the top of our foot and just really rotate our ankle manually around, trying to really stretch your ankle, move it as much as you can in each direction. Then go back the other way. And while we're here, we're just going to give our foot a little bit of a massage. This just helps to loosen off pliable, I guess, is the word so that we can use it much more when we're in standing balances to help keep ourselves stable. Good, okay, and now straightening your right leg, we're going to do the same on the other side. So now bending your left leg, bringing your foot so it's over to the right side of your right thigh, supporting your ankle with your left hand and then using your right hand to hold on around your toes, the top of your foot and manually rotate the ankle. Trying to put it into its full range of motion.
massaging your foot. Okay, now we're going to come up to a standing position. I can't talk, a standing position. Slowly giving your legs a chance to break up. Now, another good way to strengthen your foot and your ankle muscles is to walk barefoot as much as possible. And another way is to practice coming up onto your tiptoes, which is what we're going to do now. If you come to my classes, if you follow these classes online, you'll know that we do this every class, that we come up onto our tiptoes as high as we can, as tall as we can. And we try to hold that position. You're engaging all of your core muscles to do this. And then we're going to come back down. And we're going to lift up our toes from the floor, trying to keep the rest of our foot on the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Lift up your toes. Inhale. toes and again we're going to come up onto our tiptoes and try to hold that position try to hold it as steadily as we can and back down lift your toes okay now we're going to come up onto our tiptoes my well, mother's going to love me for this. And we're going to walk around the room on our tiptoes. We're going to try to be up as tall as we can on our tiptoes. Try to maintain that height as we walk around the room. Okay, and that's something you can practice doing uh, when you're just walking around the house. People might look at you a little bit strangely, but they'll just think you're going crazy because you've been at home for so long, so that's fine. Okay, so that's just helped to warm up, stretch and strengthen our ankles and our, and our foot muscles. Now we're going to come into a pose called Warrior One which is actually on two feet, okay? We're not um, balancing on one foot just yet, but it still is a balance because our feet are going to be in line with one another. So if you're on a mat, come to face the side of your mat and stand with your feet about three feet apart. I'm just going to face to the side so that you can see me. Now we're going to turn our right foot out to face the top of our mat if we have one. If not, just so that it's 90 degrees away from your left foot. And we're going to turn our left foot, our back foot, so that it's about 60 degrees. So it's about halfway between facing to the side and facing forwards. And we should bring our hips to face forward. So you can feel that you're already having to engage all of your leg muscles to hold yourself steady. We're going to now bend our right leg, our front leg, so that the knee comes over the ankle. Okay, so you should already feel that you're having to concentrate to maintain your balance. 
Remember that you can spread your toes to grip the floor. Really engage all of your leg muscles and your core muscles to hold you steady. Now we're going to inhale and raise our arms above our head. If you can, bring your palms together while keeping your arms straight and look up towards your thumbs. Remember, engage those leg muscles. That's what how is helping to keep you steady and stable. If you struggle to bring your palms together, that's fine. Just keep your arms about shoulder width apart, with your palms facing each other. Oh, no, it's one one. They, no, they can be together if you can bring them together. But if you struggle to do that, then you can just keep them apart. Okay, so this is called warrior one position. Okay, now what we're going to do from this position is we're going to shift, keeping our arms up, we're going to shift our back foot slightly closer to our front foot. And beginning by keeping our knee, our front knee bent, we're going to shift our weight on to our front foot and straighten our right leg, our front leg, and also our back leg should be straight. Our upper body is leaning forward slightly. Good. Good, okay, you can, if you need to, as my mother was doing there, just to start off with, just keep your toe on the floor just to help your balance. This is preparation for a pose called Warrior 3, which is like this. We're not going to come there yet. We're just going to practice balancing on one foot with the other leg straight out behind us. Okay? Okay, so let's practice that on the other side. So we're going to come now, face the side of our mat, with our left foot now facing the top of the mat, our right foot facing about 60 degrees, so about halfway between facing to the side and facing forward. Hip should be facing forwards. Bend your left knee. Inhale your arms up. Either bringing your palms together if you can do that, or keeping your arms up towards your thumbs. If not, just have your arms about shoulder width apart with your palms facing each other. to look up and with your legs try to sink down into the pose with your fingertips try to reach up now leaning your upper body slightly forwards shift your right leg your back leg back keeping your left leg bent to start <laughs> <bent. laughs> arms up they can either either palms together or your arms slightly apart, that's fine. And then come up on to your left foot, your right leg out straight behind you. Your arms straight, so you, there should be a straight line <laughs> running from your wrist to your ankles. It's a difficult one, okay? It's not easy at all. So let's just try that second part of the exercise again on both sides. So let's just start with our right foot. So sorry, we can just start with our right foot slightly forwards. That's it. Bend your right knee. Bring your arms out. Up straight. Lean your body slightly forwards 
so that your body is coming in line with your arm. Let's just watch these in a minute, okay? And now, keeping your front knee bent, bring your left leg straight out behind you. Now imagine I'm going from your wrists to, the, to your left ankle. We want a nice straight line. Good. You can lean your upper body forward a little bit more. That's it. Yay! Oh, I can't keep that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just try that then on the other side and then we'll move on to the next uh, asana. So, left foot slightly forward. Bend your left knee. Bring your arms up straight, leaning your upper body forwards, keeping it in line with your arms. That's it. Now, shift your weight onto your left foot, bringing your right leg out straight behind you, straightening your left knee. ahead of you, a fixed point that's not moving, to help you balance. Good, and release. Give your legs a little bit of a shake out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now standing on your right foot, always make sure that you've got a solid foundation, a firm foundation before you come into the balance. So make sure your right foot is facing forward, that you spread your toes, that you're gripping the floor with your toes, that you're now engaging your leg muscles, your core muscles to help ready. bring your left foot up off the floor, bring the sole of your left foot onto the inside of your right calf, bring your hands into prayer position at your heart centre, looking ahead of you at a fixed point, focusing on something that's not moving to help keep you steady. Try to bend our knee, 
so that we're low, our left knee, so that we're lowering ourselves down slightly. Trying to maintain that steadiness in the balance as we do so. Again, look ahead of you, focus on something. You'll really feel this in your ankle. And release. So we're going to try that on the other side. So now keeping your right foot on the floor, again, making sure you've got a firm foundation before you begin. Crossing your left ankle over the outside of your right knee. Making sure that you're stable. And then when you feel that you're stable, exhaling, bending your right knee, lowering yourself, lowering your bottom. Again, look ahead of you, find a fixed point that you can focus on. <laughs> Ooh, that was really cool. Yeah. Okay, good. And then one day you'll be able to come into the, the full position like that. But that requires a little bit of flexibility here in the hips and the knees and the ankles. Okay. So to start off with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so start off with. This is really helping you to train this, your muscles to hold you in the position and also, it's also stretching your, your muscles to yeah. be able to come into the position. Yes! 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 <laughs> Woohoo! Well done. Not easy. Can you go on the other side? Like you really... Like you really, really, really need the toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay then, right, let's come down to the mat. The way that we're going to come down to the mat is we're going to try and come down in tiptoe squat that we did last time. You did it. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stand with my feet about hip distance apart and I'm going to come up onto my tiptoes. And I'm now I'm going to bring my arms out in front of me. And I'm going to stay up on my tiptoes and I'm going to try to slowly lower down to a squatting position on my tiptoes. Yeah, oh, I made your knees then. <laughs> yeah. And then just try now try to bring your hands into prayer position at your heart center. Okay, now last, last uh, balances before we come into Savasana. We're going to come into tabletop position. And we're going to start off by inhaling, bringing our right arm out in front of us to about shoulder level. Exhaling, bringing it out to the side with our palm facing down. Inhale back to the front. Exhale down. I'm going to do that three times with each arm. So, second time with the right arm, inhale up. Exhale out to the side. Inhale front, exhale down. Once more with the right arm, inhale, exhale side, inhale front, exhale down. Three times with the left, inhale, exhale side, inhale front, Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, we're going to do a similar thing with our legs. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, keeping our knee bent, bring our knee out to the side, trying to keep our pelvis in line, and then we're going to exhale, straighten our leg out behind us, pointing our toes. Inhale, bring the knee back out to the side. <laughs> and exhale down. Twice more with that leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And now three times with the other leg. Inhale, exhale straight, inhale side, exhale down, inhale out, exhale straight, inhale bend, exhale down, once more, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, good. Now we're going to practice as our last asana balancing table. Balancing table is where we're going to lift our left arm, our right leg at the same time. So we're going to raise our left arm out in front of us and let our right leg out behind us. So inhale. So reaching right forwards with our left fingertips, pointing our right toe, reaching our toe. Try to bring your left arm out to the side. Back to the front. Try to bring your Okay, and back out straight and lower. I'm surprising my mum here. She, I normally do the same things all the time, and today I'm changing up, and she's uh... <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Inhale your right arm and your left leg. Okay, reaching right forwards with your right fingertips, pointing your left toe, reaching back with your left toe. Bring your right arm out to the side. Back to the front, bend your left knee, bring your left leg out to the side, and straighten. Exhale, and collapse. Okay, so really well done everybody. Now we're going to come into the relaxation portion of the class, we don't actually have that long left, I've gone over which I, what I thought the time was. So we're going to have five minutes in Savasana, about five minutes for meditation, and then that will be the end of the session for this morning. So if you would like to put any socks on, jumpers back on, that you took off so that you're nice and warm for Savasana, then do so. to come to lay on our mat or on the floor with our legs straight, our feet slightly apart so that they're coming towards the corners of our mat, our arms slightly out away from our body with our palms facing up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. And relax. 
attention to each part of your body that's in contact with the floor. Feel the floor supporting your body. Let all of your body completely relax and sink into the floor. Relax your face, relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Breathe slowly and deeply, completely relax.
your arms up overhead, point your toes and stretch your whole body. Relax your arms, bend your knees, and roll slowly to the side, keeping your eyes closed, remaining on your side for a few moments. everybody who joined me for the session today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that it helped you. Um, it's helping me. It's helping me to uh, to stay a little bit to 
to try to connect with some people through Facebook, through the wonderful medium of Facebook with yoga. Um, it's helping to punctuate my week a little bit, so um, thank you guys. And just remember to uh, be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, uh, allow yourself to feel any negative emotions, any anxiety, any frustration that you are feeling at the moment. Let yourself feel that, okay? That's, that's normal, that's natural, you'll be going through uh, highs and lows at the moment. Um, remember to stay in contact with your friends as much as you can. Importantly though, remember, although Facebook is a wonderful lifeline in many ways, um, in being able to connect with people, being able to watch wonderful things like my yoga class, um, that remember that as always people on Facebook are presenting a very positive one-sided view of, of their life. Uh, it's full of people doing positive things, being very productive, um, and maybe that can make you feel a little bit like you're not really doing enough and you're not making the most of this time. Remember that not everybody on Facebook is also uh, not positive all the time, not being productive all the time. Okay guys, I hope that you have a lovely afternoon. The sun is shining here in the Charente. It's beautiful. Um, take care of yourself and have a lovely uh, day, a lovely week, and I will see you again on Monday. Bye!